Okay, welcome back. I'm just going to show you how to test to make sure you've got a, a connection between the connectors when you've installed them. So this is just a, a normal voltage, current and uh, resistance meter. I've put it on uh, 200 ohms here. The resistance, I think it does give you in the charts, but it should be very low, practically nothing. So uh, if there's a significant resistance anywhere in here, we know there's a problem. So initially we're just going to touch it to the outer bodies and see if there's any uh, resistance and uh, actually let me try and prop this up I hope that's visible to you so when we connect to the bodies themselves 62 ohms and this is 10 meters of cable <laughs> so that's reasonable I think and uh, not a problem we then connect to the center conductor of one and the body of the other and that should stay as infinity because the two shouldn't be connected so I'm connecting to the body here and the inner pin here right and one means infinite if I touch the body um, nine ohms even better so if I touch the inside yeah nine ohms even lower so that's great uh, obviously the outer coating on these um, there is a coating on them so it would be a higher resistance externally but the internal resistance about 10 ohms that's great um, so that was for the body. Next we're going to try and do the pins and these are the trickiest because you've got to hold them in such a way that uh, it doesn't touch the body, it only touches the inner pin. I'm trying to do that with two hands. Right, so as I'm doing this, apologies if you can't see it, we are looking at, so that, that feels right, about 30 ohms, 30 ohms. So that all looks good, it's relatively low uh, resistance and we definitely have a connection and the two aren't touching each other. Uh, the body and the uh, inner signal wire aren't touching each other so we know that that's good. Right, thanks very much.